What's up friends? I am back. <laughs> My channel's back after finally like a month and a week almost of my channel having been suspended. For what reason, I still don't know. Not gonna go too much into that. If you want a little more information on the story of me losing my YouTube channel, having it suspended over the past month, uh, check out here, I'll put that video talking about it. So I was originally going to record this video at the end of November, because that was when I had officially been doing my meditation practice now for two years consistently. However, just right before that was when I lost my channel, so this got pushed back a little bit. But it's fine, I've been thinking about this a lot. I, I just really want to share my experience. Having meditated for this long uh, and this consistently, no, I haven't practiced every single day of the week, every month of the year. Um, no, I haven't practiced every single day of the week, every month. But I usually do practice about six days a week, five or six days a week. Often I... I slip up on Sunday, I tend to take naps on Sunday, which is a bad excuse, but you know what? I'm really proud for what I've done. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience with meditation, what I've learned, what I've enjoyed from it, what I wish I had known at first, if I could go back in time and tell myself, and some tips and points for people to expect when they are first starting to practice out any form of meditation. It all goes back to the first time that I ever meditated was a, a little over five years ago. I had come across Brandon Burchard's kind of motivational videos. I really like his content and he had a video that he was talking about meditation. In fact, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to his release meditation video because today that is probably the closest thing to what I would consider the form of meditation I practice now which is funny, tracing back to that, because I've tried so many different forms and ways over time. But yeah, I, I'd come across this video, it was 2014, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this out. He's talking about a lot of benefits, a lot that comes out of it as just a positive, healthy habit for your mind, for your brain, body, everything. And so I tried it. I sat down 20 minutes, I was outside, and it was not fun. <laughs> It was not a pleasant experience my first time meditating. I was like, my back hurts so bad. Why do I have to sit up? Oh my gosh, my brain is here and thinking about this and this and why can't I get my brain to shut up? It's not working. Why can't I clear my mind? Something's wrong. And, and just all in all, it was just an uncomfortable experience just trying to not do anything. And so I thought, well, you know what? Meditation must not be for me or, or whatever. And there were some, a couple other times I tried after that with a kind of similar experience that it was just uncomfortable. I, most of all, I just couldn't relax. I couldn't get myself into a calm state and not feel so twitchy and shifty and all that. And that was when later that year, 2014, I really was, that was when I really started immersing myself in self-development, success principles, kind of books, videos, uh, podcasts that I kept on hearing people talk about it again and again. Meditation, meditating does this, has this benefit, this benefit, all these successful people meditate. And it was like, oh my gosh, if so many people are talking about this, going on and on about how incredible this habit is, then there's gotta be something good here. You know, I'll, I'll give this some more tries. And one of the big things that made a difference as I tried some different things um, focusing on my breath, just in through my nose, focusing on my forehead and out. That was something that helped me at first, but also allowing myself to do it sitting in a chair or laying down, even in a bed. I know people are like, well, just make sure you don't fall asleep. And there's a lot of people that say you are supposed to be sitting up. But for me personally, since my biggest struggle was being able to get relaxed, that's what helped me a lot at first, doing it more sitting with something to support my back. And so after that, I did have some good experiences. I got myself in a really deep place, but a little after that year was when I went to Peru for two years serving. So a little over two years ago was when I decided I was recommitting to a practice. I was gonna do it, at least try 
a little bit every day. And these past two years, having meditated on a regular daily basis has been incredible. So I'll let you know what have been my favorite benefits. Number one is just how recharged, how rested it makes me feel. I tend to personally crash in the middle of the day. After lunchtime, I'm usually a little bit stressed, pretty tense. Taking 20 minutes in the middle of the day where I'll just go down on my break at work, go down the yoga studio, then I'll just do a little breathing exercise and meditate. It does wonders. Like, it's kind of like just starting the day all over, charging your batteries, just like, you know, phone has died. Plug it back in, charge it back up, it works again. Phones don't work very well when they're dead. <laughs> I lose willpower and ability to really get things done. So that's thing number one, is, is just that I feel like it gets me feeling so much more refreshed. And I feel like it just boosts my energy level and productivity throughout the rest of the day. Second, that I feel so much more conscious and aware, able to manage my thoughts and my emotions as they arise throughout the day. I feel more in control of myself. And this is really the beauty of meditation is that what most mindfulness meditation practices will do is because it's not necessarily releasing all thoughts, being completely clear and void. No, thoughts are going to come up. Stressful things are going to come up this thing and this thing and this that you need to do are gonna come up in your mind. And it might feel frustrating, but meditation is about being able to let thoughts come, let things come to the surface, because things are gonna come. I think a lot of Eastern philosophy calls it the monkey mind, that things are going to constantly come from a million directions. Meditation is about letting you recognize the thoughts, the worries, the emotions that come up and not identifying with them, not living inside of them and letting them take over, running down those rabbit holes, but being able to recognize, feel it, be aware of it, accept it and let it pass. Let it pass. Let thoughts come and go and come and go. And that's something I really wish I had known when I was first starting. I, I wish I could go back and tell myself, be patient with yourself, because that's a sign that you're doing something good. You're exercising a muscle that hasn't been exercised before. That ability of attention and being able to be aware and let things go, that is a skill that is developed. And so don't, don't be frustrated if you're feeling twitchy, if your mind is running a million places. It's just kind of all about being aware of that and being okay that it's coming and be able to release and just continue on. That skill has done so much for me in really all areas of my life. Just to mentally and emotionally be a better and a more conscious person because so many people are going around completely ruled by their emotions. You know, there's an impulse to do this. I'm bored, so I do this. I'm stressed, so I do this. I'm angry, so I do this. I'm sad, so I do this. So many of our actions, our choices, our habits are emotion driven. And so for me personally, what meditating has done is been able to let me recognize sooner if my emotions are going down a bad path. No, I'm not going to just hide those things, shove them away, attack and suppress them. No, but be able to recognize things that come up. And if it's not productive, it's if it's not the time to be focusing on that, <sighs> take a breath and be able to let that go. And I can't tell you how much good that's done for me to help me on a daily basis stay in a positive place. I consider myself already a very optimistic person, but to feel that much more in control of myself, a higher and a better, more positive energy, that just translates to anything in your life, to any project, any hobby, anything that takes up your time, to work, relationships, and the gym working out, in my art. And speaking of art, this brings me to the last of these benefits, creativity. How often have you had it where you are 
in the shower or you're driving or you're going to sleep at night and it seems like that's when all the good ideas and the inspirational juices come to your mind. <laughs> And it seems like any other time of the day, you never have that kind of happen where all these inspiration or interesting questions, that happens for me too. This is where I gain my greatest inspiration, where good ideas, or even for my art, or often for these videos that I do, the very best of my ideas that come to me aren't just this conscious created thing, but these often will come to me when my mind is in a restful place. So yeah, these are some of my favorite personal benefits for having meditated the past two years. So uh, let me know, you guys, in the comments below, what have been your favorite benefits of meditating? And I would just encourage anyone out there who is looking maybe this new year to form it as a habit, to try it out. Or if you have tried a couple times and it, it just wasn't an enjoyable process, I'm just gonna tell people, be patient. Realize that that's part of the process. You're going to feel a bit uncomfortable, very likely. Maybe it'll be a positive experience for some people at first, but I think for most people, it's not gonna be as enjoyable of a thing for the first time, the first week, maybe even the first month trying. But that's the thing, like I feel like the more I do it, the more my brain just kind of understands how to release, how to let go, how to get into that calm and peaceful state the more enjoyable it is. And so every day it's something that I really look forward to. I come to find a really enjoyable and... So yeah, guys, this is what I want to share with you guys. You guys are awesome. Love you. Stay tuned, guys, and stay motivated. Peace.